Welcome back to Big Country Outdoors. So, a little update. Finally able to work on the shipping container shop again. We got it welded up at the height it's supposed to be, and now it's level. We got I-beams cemented in the ground, an I-beam that runs all the way across, and then we have a brace. The blocks I stacked underneath there, I just stacked them underneath the I-beam to keep the I-beam from sinking down into the ground. Um, any after I uh, put all the weight on it, that was just a extra precaution just to make sure everything works out right. So now, what have I done? Well, we have screwed two boards down in the back and we went and got a door and some windows. So now, I've measured about 400 times and I'm pretty confident that we're ready to cut the door out. I've got a two by three by quarter wall tubing right there, frame built to the rough opening size of a door. And the door is a 36 inch man door. 36 inch man door requires an 82 and a half uh, tall and requires 34 and a half wide, I believe, or 38 and a half wide. I done lost track of my figures. So what we got going on now is we're fixing to cut out the door. I've got it marked out and I'll show you when I get in there. And uh, yeah, also bought a, uh, this titanium ultimate welder that does uh, TIG, MIG, and stick. Once I put it through its paces, I've already welded all this other stuff with it and that's quarter inch uh, I-beam and quarter inch uh, angle iron. Worked flawlessly so far. So once I have some hours on it and I've really put it through its paces, I'll do a review on that. But there's a lot of reviews of the unboxing, so I didn't figure I'd bother y'all with that. Just how it works, I'll tell y'all about that. Okay, so without too much further ado, let's get in here and cut a hole. Before we get in there and cut the door, forgot to mention all of my Blandex, all 30 sheets of Blandex, all of my two by fours and all the insulation arrived. It's 35 sheets of one inch insula uh, closed cell insulation there. So that's the route we decided to go. They delivered that this morning and then I've been just kind of tinkering around getting it level today. All right, now we'll get inside. So this is the frame right here that I built and uh, it's a behemoth. But when you cut these shipping containers, you have a tendency to uh, they'll give and bow because they get their strength from the corrugation. And I'm sure you've heard that plenty of places. So whenever I cut this out, I'm cutting out a 42 inch from outside to outside, a 42 inch opening in this. So I got to reassure what I cut out. Thus the reason for this thing being such a, uh, a solid chunk. Because whenever I put it in here, it's going to reinforce what I cut out. So uh, we'll probably put it in high speed to cutting out it. All right, a little update on life. So the angle grinder is uh, really a pain to uh, cut a straight line with. And I want to try to keep it as straight line as possible. So I went and bought this $50 is how much this thing cost. But it's supposed to be a metal cutting blade for your uh, skill saw. So we are going to attach it up and try to cut the straight line on the top across, which is the last part. We've already cut the downs and across the bottom. We're going to try to cut across the top using this with this blade. So stay tuned. Well, I guess the last thing you've seen was uh, me cutting the hole out for the door. but. Uh, doors installed and shimmed and everything properly. Uh, 
Sorry it didn't get recorded, the actual install of the door, but that turned into a pain. Um, once I got the door cut and got the frame welded in, which I went with uh, two by three inch uh, quarter wall square tubing, this is what I made the frame out of. Well, the door facing is four and a half inches, and I didn't, I don't know, I had a little brain malfunction there. So what I had to do is I had to put two by fours on the front right here, uh, on the front of the tube. If you'll take a look, see there. What I did was is I drilled and tapped holes into the tubing right there and bolted these down to it so I had something to nail to and shim to and all that stuff. But we got the door in, the door closes perfectly, no light comes around it. I mean, it's, it's absolutely 100% perfect. And uh, that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, today I need to caulk around the outside of the door to uh, try to work on the any kind of leaks or anything. Uh, it rained heavily right after I got this door in. And there was some drips coming from around it where it was hitting the top of the tubing and running around because I didn't have time to get everything um, siliconed and everything before it rained. So it sunshined all day yesterday, it was Sunday. Today we're gonna work on getting the windows in. So I've got the windows. Let's see if I can get you turned around here. The way this lighting is. Okay, what I'm wanting to do today is uh, get to the windows, as you can see. Have the windows right down there. And what we're gonna do is, uh, I got uh, this angle iron. It's a two inch by eighth angle iron. And I'm going to build the frames. I'm gonna put one window in right here, close to the end of the double doors for an air conditioner and just having a window. And then one on that wall back there, right in here, I'm gonna put one for an air conditioner for that small little room. So uh, probably just gonna kick on the GoPro and uh, high speed it. And uh, I'll see you after that. All right, time for a little update. So, windows are in. Uh, got them in. Right here, take a look, to see. Got the windows in, and uh, good to go there. Got the second window in up here. So my two windows that I was going to put in are in. And then I was thinking, uh, I siliconed around the doors and used spray foam in areas that needed it. And uh, got to thinking about a water deflector. So I took the door piece that I cut out for the door, split it down, and made a water deflector here. It don't, it's tall enough you're not gonna hit your head on it. It's a good seven feet probably off. Six and a half, seven feet. I also put one over each window as well. I took the cutouts from each window, cut them, and made little made little deflectors off of those, just so that if you leave your windows open, you don't get water, you know, rainwater in here. If you can see the deflector up here. So we have the deflectors in place. Now the next step is going to be we're going to start putting insulation in the roof. Everything as far as the outside, the cutting, all that kind of stuff, I didn't want to start insulating until I got all the grinding and cutting done. That way I don't, uh, I wasn't throwing sparks on the insulation itself. So, uh, next step you see probably will be me running insulation. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> 